The northwest corner of France is often overlooked by British yachtsmen and motorboat owners. Yet only a short hop across the channel, it offers intriguing destinations and countless cruising adventures and opportunities. Dawn in Camaray, on the tip of the Crozon Peninsula. At 150 nautical miles due south of Falmouth, Camaray is the most distant of our destinations. But it has everything you could want as the end point of a cross-channel adventure, or as a base for a longer-term exploration of the region. Firstly, there's a marina offering every facility just a couple of minutes' walk from the town centre. And the town itself is popular with French holidaymakers, particularly those exploring the Crozon Peninsula and adjacent natural park by bike. The town itself has plenty history, ranging from Vauban's fort protecting the old harbour from invasion by wee Brits. Vauban's fortifications are found all along the Atlantic coast of France. The 17th century Harbourside Chapel, commonly known as the Fisherman's Church, has a unique robust squat design. There's also more recent history. The iconic abandoned fishing boats rotting on the shoreline, a silent and poignant monument to the town's fishing past. In the shelter of the headland, it's an ideal water playground. The Rade de Brest is a huge sailing and cruising area, sheltered from Atlantic swells. And of course, the city of Brest itself lies on the northern bank. What enticed me was the long stretch of the River Orne, once a busy shipping route, and entrance to the 240 mile long Nantes Brest Canal, built by Napoleon to ensure barge commerce between these two major cities that would be unharried by British warships. Pottering deep in rural France, the tranquility of the river is overwhelming. And as long as you time the tides right, the sleepy town of Port Launay, through the first lock, is a great overnight stopover. It's hard to imagine that once, around 800 barges plied their trade along the canal before rail and road transport became the cheaper options and the canal fell into disuse. Today, the mouth of the River Orne is home to a haunting ghost fleet of rusting French warships. With missiles still on deck, they look as if they were simply abandoned by their crews and left to rot here. Brest is France's main Atlantic naval base and in this ship's graveyard, the vessels are awaiting their final fate, either in the breaker's yard or to be used for target practice in naval exercises at sea.